Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to share my screen and we will get started with this. Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, different uh, debugging techniques. Uh, we're going to talk about how to debug JavaScript debugging. Let's see, let's start with something something that is, uh, I would say, relatively simple and you can you don't need anything extra and i'm talking about debugging your javascript let's see what kind of javascript code we have i remember that we had something let's go to event screen and yeah a little bit of code here okay let's uh try to debug this code and maybe we will introduce some sort of error here to see what happens but anyway let's uh do it again. Okay, it's welcome page, which is the menu page. Let's build it. And it's already in the browser. We go to our welcome page. Okay, since we rebuild it, we need to log in again. I will turn login. Okay. So this is our welcome page. So how do we see that code and how do we step through that code or set a breakpoint and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So first of all, I press F12 and it shows me uh, developer tools. Uh, console shows a bunch of warnings, no errors. I just clear it and we go to sources. Uh, I expand, it shows us all the files where JavaScript code is. And since this, this is an event and it does not belong to any table, it will be in global events.js file. As usually, we click on a beautify icon to see the code that was compressed previously, see it like in a normal way. Okay, and we can, what we can do here? Uh, we can set the breakpoint here. We're just clicking on the line number and it shows our breakpoints on the right side. We can see breakpoints in uh, multiple different places. But we want to, just to show you the idea how it works. Okay, we set the breakpoint here which means our code execution will stop once we get here. And to see that, we will reload the page. Control F5. Yep, we can see that the browser's window is grayed out. It says post, post in a debugger, and it shows us where exactly we have stopped. Okay, what we can do here? Uh, so this code is also from uh, one of our previous uh, webinars when we were talking, uh, we were talking about um, getting the uh, location of the end user if the browser allows that. Uh, we're talking about uh, and uh, this code checks if you already have the location. And so we do not run the same code multiple times. Let's see. I select proxy object and I uh, copy it and add it to the watch. And it shows that this is an array and it does not have any elements. So uh, as far as I understand, it this code will only run if uh, have location property of proxy object is false. And since we run it for the first time, it does not have, uh, it doesn't even have this kind of property. So our code will step into this if statement. So to step into, you need to step over next function call. 
or F10. So I press F10 and it goes in. It checks uh, navigator geolocation, F10. And navigator is a browser object. It provides, I uh, press F10 again. And now our show position variable should have Again, if uh, I don't remember if uh, I uh, enabled my web browser to provide uh, GPS coordinates to any JavaScript code uh, or not, I don't remember that, but probably I did. And if I did show position is a function and if function that was fired, we can probably stop uh, at another breakpoint here to see if it actually goes in. So I will set breakpoint here, we remove breakpoint here, and we just let it continue running. And yes, it is. Yeah, it stopped here. So that's the idea. You, you can set multiple breakpoints. You can stop at any point, and you can step through your code to see what it does, what it returns. You can evaluate uh, different variables. Here, the argument is position. So let's add the watch. Oh, it's already added here, right? Let's remove stuff we don't need. You know, watch window and position is an object of uh, geolocation position. And if we expand it, it shows us coordinates and coordinates are 38.8 and minus 77. Point forty, which should be my location. So, if you want to send nukes, you know where to send it. Okay. Anyway, that's the idea. That's the idea. And uh, if something doesn't work, you set a breakpoint. You step through the code. You evaluate every uh, variable and see what exactly does not work as expected. Okay, let's, uh, okay, I will remove the breakpoint here and, uh, and uh, let's try to introduce in some sort of an error in our code. Maybe uh, use a function that does not exist. In the very beginning of our code, let's, uh, Variable a equals math that random. That's a function. I'm pretty sure this is something that will work. Let's uh, see if I uh, misspell the function name. Something like this. Okay. And let's build and reload our page again and see what happens. We did something, we expect something to work and we don't know if it worked or didn't work uh, or we know that it didn't work. For instance, it should show us some sort of a message and it didn't show that. The first tools to troubleshoot is again, open developer tools. And if you go to console, it will tell you that, oh, there is an error. And error is in global events.js file. We click on this file, uh, we click beautify icon again and it shows us math random is not a function so that's pretty simple so we can unfortunately i'm not sure if we can i don't think we can change it right here it would be nice if we could do it and run it again so we need to go back to our code change it to random Reload it again. Okay, we don't see any errors, which is good. And I will just uh, set a breakpoint on the line uh, following our math random function call and reload it again. And let's see if I mouse over. Oh, I mean, it shows here. 
it's a zero point four eight five two two. So it's a random value between zero and one, and we can use it in our calculation. So this is it, folks. So with JavaScript, it's pretty simple. You don't need any extra tools. It's just simple, and it works.